Hey everyone, so I got the fork off the uh, MX-135, the one Barney's sitting on, the Foreman Barney. Uh, I broke the front, or I should say the middle spear off. I like having three, I hate having two. Three works so much better. So, I'm going to proceed to weld this one back on. And... The way I built this fork, this bale fork, was at first, when I had these machined out, I had them so that if they ever broke, you just undo the bolt and pull them out. But over time, it wasn't a real tight fit. And with the bouncing, look how much it egged, it egged the collar out. So now there's a lot of play in there and if it's rough, you know, that moves quite a bit. So I'm thinking I'm just going to weld that solid because I did it to these two. This one was really had a lot of play and it, uh, it broke too, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to weld this one too because it's just too much, too much bouncing around in there. So I'm going to get this middle one done. I'm going to grind out that crack in there and fill it up with weld. Hopefully she'll last for a long time yet. I can get these things straight too. Okay, let's do some grinding. So, I've got this one welded. The middle one welded, that's just a tack glob. Piss poor job with the ass B, but uh, would your to, to make it really really good I would have to cut all that off with a cutting torch and start over like this one here I don't that's not a half-ass bad weld like it's not perfect but it's not bad you get so I get so cramped up out of position trying to stay in position but at least it'll keep it from it's pretty solid now so I got all three of them pretty much in line. This one probably just a bit out. But. So now I can uh, start hauling the bales full blast now. Uh, we're probably going to start today or tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have to weld the fork on the 2096 because it has a crack in it too. Uh, the 2096 has uh, just a two spears on it which I kind of I always like three three is always good it seems to work better for me so there's a lot of different uh, styles of forks out there but I made this one all by myself all by myself because uh, this when we got this tractor it did it just had the bucket so what I did was I took some channel iron uh, had this piece here in the scrap yard in the back, I got the, the spears machined out in town and the collars and I cut holes in them, weld them in. As I said before, I used bolts to mount them in, but that didn't work out too good. And I just, uh, this part here is the top part's from an old versatile cultivator the frame. I think it still says versatile on it. Yeah, right there. Field cultivator. <laughs> An old sticker. Yeah, I think there's a versatile sticker there. That was the... This would have been the side of the hitch where it goes to the tractor. So that worked for that. I still have a lot of that uh, old cultivator sitting in the back. Vibra shank. But anyway, now that's all done. I'm going to put the fork back on and we'll... Uh, Put the Freightliner truck outside. We're going to put new headlights on it. So stay tuned for that. Alright, uh, that's just a little welding job on my bale spear, fork, whatever. And uh, yeah, so, so make sure you subscribe, uh, click like, 
and uh, thank you for watching.